hello, let's do this. So first thing, I'm gonna cover up my brows because Shane's brows are surprisingly thinner than mine, but they are similarly arched. So I'm gonna take, this is a new trick that I found from my costuming teacher. You know that like soap scum that you like find on like the bars of soap like around it? Apparently that's really good for gluing down your brows, surprisingly. I'm just gonna take a disgusting amount of that. And for the sake of tutorial, I'm just gonna cover my entire brow. Even though his brow is very similarly shaped to mine, just gonna do that anyway. Well, Oh, you know what? I should prob should probably pin my hair up. Now once you've looked like the Mothman, <laughs> clean up your edges a little bit. We're gonna get rid of these disgusting marks. Thanks to my genetics. <laughs> so now, well that's gonna dry down a little bit. Actually a lot of it, you should probably wait for it to dry, but it dries quickly. So next, what I'm gonna do is cover them with concealer. And while you're here, just go ahead and cover up these disgusting little things. All right, now that you look good, since Shane's paler than me, I'm gonna take my foundation and mix it with a much lighter foundation to make me pale. I'm taking a booty blender and then just go in. Now you may be saying, wow, those brows don't look really covered at all. I know, <laughs> but I'm gonna take this powder foundation and a little puff and just go over the brows again. See if I can't hide these beings, these cryptid beings a bit more. And then I'm like, wait a second, my brows are still there. <clears throat> That's fun. Concealer again. Concealer over a powder foundation. Yep. Mmm, look how naked more out I look. I'm just gonna call that good to go. Probably recommend find a better brow covering tutorial or if you have much thinner haired brows and not as bushy as I do then you might have already been done with this step so let's move on I got my reference picture here I hope I can remember the steps of how to do this oh, okay I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do the eyes first so he's got those nice droopy eyes I have medium droop eyes, I guess. Not really hooded or droopy or anything like that, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna take some brown eyeshadow. I'll start with medium brown, and then if I need to, I'll darken it up later. So just extend your upper lid line downward. Then I'm gonna take a fluffy, fluffier, type of brush, go into the brown, that medium, medium dark I'd say. Gonna go in here, deepen that a bit, so it gives the illusion that my eyes are farther back in my face, and also my nose will be uh, uh, farther out, I guess, which my nose kind of is already, so this is easier. But we'll get to the nose later. This is the eye part. Okay. Sticking that in the inner corner to deepen that and create like a shadow as if my skin was covering my eye more. I'll take a darker brown and just go over that a little closer just to deepen those eye flaps up. That sounds gross. I'm gonna narrow this inside a bit by going farther in with the brown. I'm gonna take an angle brush again, mixing the medium dark and the dark brown. 
let's create those iconic eye bags and eye wrinkles. Now I have some nat- oop. You know what, I forgot you should powder. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Completely forgot to powder the under eyes around this area, cause I'm an oily bitch. <laughs> now that you're properly powdered like you should have been right after we finish the foundation, I'm gonna actually do the eye bags now. So I'm gonna take a little, little angled brush Go to the medium dark brown. So he has basically like two, like the main eye bag here, and then if you squinch up your eyes, that one right there. This looks a little dark. Or maybe it doesn't on camera, I don't know. There's sunlight beaming in, so it might look different than how I am seeing it. So you might be like, oh, it's a little dark. That's okay. Why not, you know? Hmm. So I'm gonna do that on the other eye, and then we'll, you know, we'll do the brows actually, because <laughs> this patchy slash no brows look is scaring me a bit. Okay, let's do the eyebrows. So I'm kind of gonna match my natural shape a little bit, but it's definitely gonna be thinner than it was before. Pick it same angle brush. You really only need like three brushes for this entire thing. So now I'm gonna start with that medium dark brown and then go in. Now it weirdly looks like I'm filling in my own brows. And it feels like it. Okay, his are shorter than mine. So I'm gonna end it. Not as outward as mine are. And his have more like fill in right there where I don't because I don't know why. Have to, I'll probably have to go in and cover these again. Start here. Dang, wow, I gotta cover that. Hold up, that's making me mad. See, that looks way better than it did before. Why couldn't I have done it better in the first place? Do it right the first time and you won't have to do it again later. All right. Now it's definitely more curved, so not like angular like mine were like dang dang. It's more like uh, it's more like a, uh. Take some of the dark brown and just put it sporadically throughout the brow. Now I'm gonna do the other brow and then see if uh, we can't get this ball rolling faster. Uh, this is the uh, brows are, these brows are cousins, not sisters, not twins. Might, may even be twice removed. I, uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, what was I? Yeah, the nose, okay. Take the medium brown, down the nose, pinch that boy in a bit more than your natural, probably. Unless you got naturally skinny nose, I kind of do. But to increase the effect, I do this. I'm gonna go farther down than my these. <laughs> R to slim that down since his nose points more downwards we gotta do the same and you're like wow that's really intense I know that's why it's a blending brush and that's why you blend it so now that I've slightly kind of look like I extend my nose he has like nose lines across I have mine like that so I'm gonna make the across ones by taking the angled brush again, or just like a skinnier brush or something. Medium brown, pretty low, nearly to the tip, just. Pretty much straight across, that's not straight. That's not low, I know, I know. It looks stupid, but we're not done yet. Here's a little nose, what do you call this? Nose butt? <laughs> I call it a nose butt, because I think it's funny. You do that, and you're like, wow, that looks really intense and really weird. I'm gonna blend. That's how fun blending is. Deepening the sides. Can't you, girl, get that nose snatched. Then since my nose points up, we need to change that. So I'm taking the medium brown, the dark brown, shaking off the brush, and going underneath my nose tip. 
Then I also gotta go here. Okay, if you stick your brush inside your nose, keep your brush inside of your nose at all times on the ride. Mm. Then if you're like, ooh, ooh, a little too intense, then be going with highlight shade. Take some of this cream highlight shade, clean off that brush, because you only have so many brushes. So on the nose, you need to highlight here, right there, and then on the outers. And then to blend, you can clean off that blending brush or use your fingers. I'm gonna try the blending brush first. I'm just gonna blend that into that. Now I'm feeling the sides got too dark. They got too dark, so I'm gonna take the powder foundation again. And I'm just gonna quickly, slightly go over that. I'll fix it. Now that your nose is snatched and is looking different. <laughs> I hope I did okay. Let's just say I did okay. okay. Eyebrows, eyes, nose. Check, but I notice he has our nasal labial folds. I know that word. So we're gonna take, <laughs> guess what? The medium brown. And just see where you smile. See the picture. Compare the two. If you put too much on, then you can look really old. Same brush and just blend it out with your fingers. Now it kind of looks terrible right now. But anyway, <laughs> the mouth. He has a small mouth. I have a medium mouth. So what we're gonna do is take the conceal her, conceal her, and conceal her. I mostly do Corners of the mouth, like that. I like my new lip color, it's gorgeous, huh? Just a bit. Now it looks weird. And it is. <laughs> but now you're gonna blend it. That's the booty of blending and the booty blender, mmm. And then you're gonna take the powder foundation, go over that. Now you're like, okay, hey, where's your mouth? It'll come back. It'll come back. <laughs> I hope. I'm gonna take Little, 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 little brush. Go into some lip color. Pale, rosy pink. Go like that. Now that your mouth is back and smaller. You know what I haven't done? I haven't done the entire face. Ah, my booty blender. Now this is gonna be weird. I'm gonna cut in real quick and do the perimeter of my face, even before I finish off the beard, because I feel like the beard is the finishing touch, the je ne sais hein, je ne sais quoi. So, I'm gonna do the perimeter of the face, and see my face is more ovalish, and his face is, what, diamond-ish? Is that the word? I don't know, but it's, you know, thinner, much thinner, like here, more wider up, up there. So, now this is gonna be weird. First, I'm gonna take this big old contouring brush. Of course, of course. I'm gonna take the medium brown. <laughs> That's like all we use. On the side of my face, not too far forward because then it's gonna show up a lot when you look forward. So just like look forward and into the mirror and just go. And it's gonna look harsh and it should to create that shadow. And we're gonna see something weirder after this step. So like basically this, Miss Good Jawbone, it's gotta go bye-bye. So we're gonna bye-bye man her. All right, now that we got the initial shadow shade, the hair on my temples are too far forward and his are like farther back. So I'll hold him back here, shade it to be more straight down here. And then, later on when I do the hair, I'm gonna slick this back and it's gonna, trust me, it'll work, it'll work. Oh yeah, now that this initial shading is done and we're like, huh, that's weird. Yeah, it is, but wait for this. Wait for this hot take. Bam. Face paint. 
I'm gonna take brown face paint. I saw this on some artist like spotlight on Facebook or something. I don't remember. I just saw it and I was like, huh, that works really, really weirdly. So take the brown face paint and go on the outermost perimeter of the face. And then weirdly enough, it slims it down. But again, don't go too far forward or else people are gonna clock that and just be like, why did you put face paint on the side of your face? Because I wanted to, Deborah. Anyway, and you're like, hmm, that's weird. Yes. It'll make my face look more, you know? Look more, you know? <laughs> now that it looks sufficiently weird if you turn your head, just gonna go back in with the brown just powder that a little bit, maybe blend it even farther. I know, it looks weird, it looks scary, it looks like it doesn't work. It won't work if you go out in public like this. Maybe you're gonna, if you're gonna go out in public like this, just don't do the brown face paint, but do the shading. Do the shading, you don't have to do the brown face paint. I'm just doing this for the video and for, I don't know, photo shoot, I guess. <laughs> that I'll do afterwards of this. I'm not doing anything to the forehead because I have a small forehead. He has a bigger forehead. So I'll slick these back and then that'll be good. But for now, we're gonna move on to the beard. And the beard is what I think will bring it all together. So for the beard, I will take, I have this stipple sponge. Now you can use uh, the angled brush again for every little stroke. For a larger, thicker beard, but for more like stubble, a stipple sponge is really good. Like it's really easy to get those little hairlines. So I'm gonna take a combination of the brown face paint and some black face paint. And I'm gonna like spackle them around, mix it around, get like a combined effect. So get some on the hand. My camera cuts off sometimes for some Fucking weird reason, that's fine, I enjoy that. I don't. What's Okay, here's a weird thing for the beard. Since you want your mouth to be smaller, make the beard like pretty much on the corners of your mouth. Normally beards go like around that a little bit. Now you wanna be like on top of it, pretty much. What's good is that his mustache kinda goes into the nose a bit so that this terrible disgustingness can be kinda covered by, oh, is that a mustache? Yes. And again, uh, go onto your natural lip if your lip, if your upper lip is thicker than his. So again, the illusion, smaller mouth. Ends in like a triangle formation to the tip of the nose. So I'm not gonna fill this completely up with brown because brown looks too much like a cowboy. So now I'm gonna go in with black. To, like gray it up a bit. Check it on your hand, make sure it's not too opaque, and then just stipple it with the stippling brush. Wow, we've really come full circle, haven't we? And for the beard, for the chin area, keep it pretty rounded. It's not a Tony Stark beard, but round it. And then we're gonna do, what is that, a little goatee? Is that what that thing is? Like the right here, is that a soul patch? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna do that later, once we've got the majority of it covered. Please! Why did the clouds? No! Spackle it! Spackle it! Spackle it! Now you may be like, this is too concentrated. And you're right. So when you don't have a napkin nearby to, you know, clean up. I know it's weird. And it is. It's very weird, but it works. Especially if your shirt is, if you don't care much about what happens to your shirt, you could just do this. It removes some product, it moves the product, and it makes it a bit more sporadic. Cause that's, that's what it is. It's supposed to be sporadic. It's not supposed to be super concentrated. That's pretty good. I have too many things on my hand. Ew. Be gone! Look at this. Look at this mess. Oh. This little bit right here. Right on the ridge of my natural lips. With an angle brush. 
and a bit, a mix of that black face paint and brown face paint. And the picture I'm looking at, it's like a little diamond shape. So that's basically the face. That's the face. So now I'm going to, I don't think I have a button up, <laughs> so I'm gonna get a flannel. I'm gonna get a flannel, buttoned up flannel, and I'm gonna slick the sides back and I'm gonna try to comb this in a way that it looks like his hair and not my weird crazy green hair. So I'll be right back. And then we're gonna do some glamour shots, maybe even outside. <gasps> Who goes outside? I don't. I'll be back. 